Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots, motherfucking Crypto Gates, cause I'm injecting niggas with this motherfucking crypto game, motherfucking Crypto Marley, Crypto Bomber, Mr. Crypto Exotic, Dreddy Nakamoto, the motherfucking blockchain hustler, I'm back at it again with more crypto game. So real quick, if you need a crypto mentorship, if you need a crypto miner, you need a domain name for your Ethereum wallet, you need a decentralized website, or you need a multi-sig wallet, I got you, hit me up, crypto roots at protonmail.com. Check the links out in the description, download the Brave browser. All right, so I wanna talk about getting fucking wrecked. I wanna talk about getting wrecked because I know what it is to get fucking wrecked, all right? Uh, I got scammed out a lot of money by someone I trusted, who I, who I thought I knew but I didn't know, uh, quote unquote a celebrity, and he's just a scammer and he's out there scamming other people, he goes by the name of Brother Polite, he's a con artist, and I'm warning you to uh, let everybody know to stay out for this guy because he's been scamming people for a long time and he's still continuing to do so. And I'm working on the case against him and his wives. But with that being said, getting wrecked in crypto is a whole nother ball game, alright? When you get wrecked, you get wrecked. It's kind of like being stabbed, all right? You can get stabbed in the leg, you can get stabbed in the heart, you can get stabbed in the stomach. It's all gonna hurt. Losing a lot of money, it's all gonna hurt, especially uh, in a very short amount of time, it's all gonna hurt. But the recovery process is gonna be a little different from everybody, all right? So you can get wrecked on all different types of things. And I bring that up because yam.finance. This shit blew up. This is like some historical cryptocurrency shit because it was an honest project. It was an honest project, it wasn't a scam. The, the developers did the best they could uh, and what they let everybody know was unaudited, it's experimental, and a lot of money flooded in, a lot of risk takers, and I understand, I almost took that risk. That's the thing, I almost got in. I tried to yield farm it, but I couldn't, the web page wouldn't load for the longest time, and by the web time the web page load, I didn't have enough to pay for gas. And I praised Ja Rastafari that I didn't fall into that trap, and I knew that was a sign telling me to stay away from this project right now, to stay away from it. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people got wrecked. A lot of people, a lot of people got wrecked. And it's painful, especially in this coronavirus time, to even be losing. It's like, yo, you in the crypto game, you coming up, and then you get wrecked, and so you now you're you're in the unemployment line. Like, it's it's and it's hard to come get that bread back up, really. Like, it's not impossible, but it's difficult. So, shouts out to everybody that that lost bread. And I don't feel you should be a part of the, you know, crypto Twitter's like those people deserve it. Other people are like, nah, it's just it it was what it was. We did the best we could. And you got to check out what all the things went wrong. There was governance proposal. People got locked out. It, it, and then, then the rebase scene. And yeah, people just didn't understand what they were getting invested into. And a lot of people market bought versus farm yield. And so uh, it, it was a very short amount of time. We've never seen any community throw money so soon at something and then try to govern it. I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's honestly something, a story to tell. But I want to talk about losing money, man. I know what it is to lose a lot of money. And these are mistakes, these are lessons we learn. The, you know, the greed takes over us. We, make, we don't do our due diligence. And I just feel like my heart goes out to the people that lost bread. I don't feel like I should be in this game trying to feel like I'm better than everybody. Trying to feel like, I, you know, and never hide the fact that I lost money too. A lot of people don't talk about that. A lot of traders don't talk about, they'll show you all the times, they'll brag about all the times they're making money, but they will not tell you about the times I lost money. A lot of people go quiet, especially on crypto Twitter. A lot of people talk that shit when the market goes up, but when the market goes down and they fucked up, lost their private keys or whatnot, they ain't talking about that shit. So you only get half the story, you know? So you gotta watch out for a lot of these crypto YouTubers. You look at their thumbnails and it looks like a fucking casino. Like it looks like money, 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 money. You got to watch out for that. A lot of that, even honest people fall into that trap because they know the whole money thing gets more views on crypto YouTube. So they'll start dishing you out whatever you want to hear. After a while, they'll just start dishing that out for the YouTube ads, right? So it's real nasty. It's real nasty. And I'm just be careful who you follow. Be careful who you take advice from. There's a lot of scams out there. I do my best for my channel to do my due diligence because I'm a blockchain developer, but I still don't know everything. I still don't know everything. And I don't think you should be kicking other people while they're down. The best thing you do is just show in love, just let people know it's okay, maybe donate if you can afford it, and just let, you know, and just warn as many people. But that's the market. The market doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. It doesn't. 
all right? Those people jumped in the game and they paid high gas fees and they over they bought at the top and the shit crashed. This is the game of markets. Market doesn't, doesn't care about your feelings, all right? So don't, and but as humans, we should be somewhat empathetic or sympathetic. We shouldn't just say fuck you you deserve it because that you know because probably you've been hurt you've been hurt so you feel like other people need to hurt and that's that's a bad for the ecosystem that's bad for humanity that's bad for the crypto for, you know so because we want as many people to adopt this technology and come in and have the best experience and make the most of the money possible but that's not all that's not going to be the case because that's not how markets work but we should at least have a good heart you know so I, shouts out to all the people that lost a bunch of bread and if you you about to jump in this game be careful do your due diligence hit me up for the mentorship i'll do the best i can to look out for you there's a lot going on there's a lot of ways to make money but there's a lot of ways to lose money so i know what it is to get wrecked if i can make it through it you can make it through it let's let's get back on the grind much love aloha peace